Hi, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Hello. It's tomorrow. It's Nate and the Mutt here. So, we're just about to take Mr. Brownie, our little friend, for a walk with some of the other dogs. Good, being good boys and girls, watch out. Hello. Jumping up is going to be a negative, obviously. However, with him, Danjo, can you move, please? With him learning to trust and interact, it's a positive gesture as well. Good shaking off. Tell me he's over the last event. He's ready to move on. That can change very quickly. I know, we're getting there. Thanks. Can you move, please? Good boy. So I'm watching the, the tail movement. His breathing, respiration rate, when he's licking, when he's not, what, whether he's blinking. You're not really helping, hey? Milo, thank you. Yeah. Give me a lead and we'll do it. You're still tied up, remember? Hang on. It's untied. Yeah. This is our extra safety precaution, isn't it? Just in case. I have the tin placed out around it for two reasons. Sasha, Sasha, yes, Granny. Wait, relax. I'm not going to let you out whilst you're being silly. Sasha, can you sit down and lay down, please? Good, lay down. Thank you. So the leads on to tie there for precautions. The reason the tins around is two reasons. A little bit for him not to dig but mainly for the noise so the other dogs they don't really like standing on it um they will and if but it gives me noise so i know when other dogs are near him when he's reacting or doing things there's also areas where they can touch and meet that aren't all right so when he comes out right, we're going to go for a walk with the other dogs being around as we've done a few times i'm going to pick up an object here that he associates oh boy yeah he associates with going for a walk. The others associate with me tapping on the ground uh, and telling them to do something, move or whatever. Oi, relax. Stop. When you stop doing that, you think, Danjo, can you move, please? Thank you. All right, uh, leave him alone. Now, I'm not going to allow any of the other dogs to come near him. We'd go to the toilet. Good boy. Thank you, Milo. Hello, rolling dog. Milo, leave him alone. All right, I'm going to tie your lead around me whilst we're doing this. Thank you. Good shake off. Milo, leave him alone. Granny, this way. Good boy. You know the deal. Thank you, Banjo. So Milo's walking near me now. I'm just going to hold this stick out towards him. Not waving at him, not hitting him with it, not ever doing that. Banjo, move please. Further. Thank you. And they just know that when that stick's to be held, they're not allowed to come within that area. 
and because I do work with dogs that have previously bitten and attacked, it's also a... I need to do up your collar, Lee, your collar thing too. Let's do that. Oh, he's still here. Oh boy, come over here. We'll do this later. So yeah, so the, because I work, leave it Brownie, thank you, because I do work with dogs that have previously bitten and attacked or had an aggressive or assertive act, um, it, it's also wise to have implements just for worst case scenarios. Not that we allow that, the ones that are a bit assertive or dominant or whatever words people want to use, being brats or they're basically going over and standing over the other animals. Um, I'd use dominant at times, assertive, v very rare, good go to the toilet, very rarely aggressive. Whilst there, he's got his tail in the air, he's alert, he's a, a good boy. How you doing? I'm going to give him a bit more rope. I've got this rope run around my shoulder and around the back of my body. So that I act like a bit of a, a pivot. Good rolling dog. Good boy. So we're going to get him to sext in about six days. Good shake. So he'll stay here for a couple of months to learn how to interact with other dogs. Thank you, Milo. You're helping. Gentle. So gentle, watching both their tails, not allowing either of them to stare or focus at each other, letting them to be allowed to interact for very brief periods of time in a positive. If either of them start to stare or move, I direct both of them to move away. Good boy, Brownie. Good boy, Banjo. Milo, stay. Milo, stay. Good boy, Banjo. Good boy, Brownie. Good boy, Banjo. Leave him. Thank you. Move. Move. I didn't allow Banjo to go to him. You just tied yourself up, didn't you? Like, you're doing the same as I've got around me. Thanks. So I didn't allow Banjo to go near that dog. Brownie, out of there, please. Because he wasn't focused. He was doing something yeah. else. So he could be startled or having an event. Unless they're both... Hey, Brownie. Pull your head in, literally. Come on. Come away from the fence, then. Now you're going to get your lead shortened. Move this way. Come on. Let's go. Thank you. Leave it, Banjo. Leave it, Milo. Milo, move further. Banjo, move further. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, you want to do a poop, do you? You can do that. He normally likes to go near trees or in bushes. Thank you, Milo. Good move. Good Cody dog. Good big dog. Very good. Good do a poop. Good good boy. Good go to the toilet. Just make sure that the other dogs don't go near him whilst he's going to the toilet. Milo, cookie or move now. Good decision. By giving each dog one individual timeout, naughty word, reset word. That way I can correct Milo and the others aren't affected. Cody, stay please. Good, go to the toilet. Hey, pull your head in, literally. Good boy, good, pull your head in. Thank you, Banjo. Yeah, good stretching, good saying hello. Good boys and girls. Gentle. Okay, Banjo, that's enough. Now, move. Very good. Good brownie, you hit yourself in the head with that. I didn't do that. Thank you, Banjo. Move, please. Milo, move. Yeah, Brownie, we'll go this way. Come for a walk. Thank you, Milo. Thank you, Banjo. Thank you, Brownie. Now, another thing with going to the toilet. Brownie, leave it, please. Don't allow dogs, good shake, to go urinate over the top of the other stuff. Brownie, leave it. You'll go to timeout. Brownie, leave it. Right up, let's go. Timeout. When I ask you to leave it, you're the one who ended the walk, not me. 
when I ask you to leave it, you need to leave it or come into your time out. Come into your area. Come here. So I don't need the pole anymore. So when you've got a dog that's pulling against a lead like this, so if you just keep pulling straight against it, a few things are going to happen. That collar, they're going to figure out how to shuck it or move it off their neck. So basically I'll give a little pull, wait till they face in another direction like that. Then I'll take two quick steps or one step. Good boy. Very good in the direction I want them to go. And sort of doing it as a positive. Come on. Good boy. Come this way. Come on. See there now how I'm lucky that he's actually got the lead tucked under his arm so he can't pull that collar straight off so I can walk forward. Good boy. Oh, very good. Thanks. Keep coming. Halfway there. Come on. Fly me out. Granny. Fly me out. Let's go. Thank you. Good boy. Good decision. Oop, we'll clean up that poop the puppies have put there. Yep. Good time out. Don't. Thank you. Good boy. You got your toys. So the way I join, join all these fences together is I just drill a hole. Hang on. I've got mesh in the ground because I figured he'd be a, a runner. So I've actually got wire mesh in the ground as well. Hello, how are you doing? The wire mesh gets caught. There's a better way. This is only a very temporary cage, so it'll be moved to somewhere else. Thanks, Sasha. Oh, I hear it. I appreciate your effort. So yeah, so I just drill a hole in these. And because they're at right angles, it can, good boy. Thank you, Brownie. When I tell you to leave it, if you don't leave it, you go to timeout, right? Yeah, good timeout. Thanks, Milo. Thank you for the help. Go play. Thanks, Lulu. Very good. Stay away. Thanks. Go play. Good boy, Jess. So yeah, so if I've got this at right angles, it can actually stand up on its own. So, et cetera, et cetera. Hope that helps of a little bit of introduction and how to get dogs that haven't met to meet. Not all wagging tails are a happy dog. Dogs will wag their tail just before they attack, bite, or they're extremely attentive, focused, ready to, willing to interact. Whatever words you want to say. Take care from Nate and the Mutts. See ya.